Hey everybody, Greg Koch here, 605 Running Company, and today I'm going to be talking about the Triumph version 17. Now this is an interesting shoe. Uh, version 17, I know you're like, but wasn't the ISO some like four or three or something just out? Sockney's had a little bit of an interesting run. So they've been making the Triumph for a long time, but then they went to this ISO Fit series and they they started numbering uh, what was an ISO line and and very confusing. Um, but they've gone back to basics, um, and so that's where we get 17 on this shoe. And, and you saw me in our unboxing uh, bring this shoe out, but lately I've been able to actually put some miles in this shoe, and so I wanted to talk about it a little bit more today. I also felt like my friend, the ugly Christmas sweater, belonged in this video, so it's just going to be hanging out. It's cool. So let's get into it. Um, here's a good story about uh, imagery on shoes and how it can work to your benefit or maybe to a negative. And it's a story about Saucony. So you might remember Everrun. A lot of folks come in and they say, well, I ran in the Saucony Everrun. It's not a shoe. It was a foam. Um, and you've heard me rail on foams, different compounds of foams. But it was the, the premier foam uh, cushioning system that Saucony was using up until now and it was called Everrun Foam, but the shoes were still Ride, Guide, Triumph, Freedom. I could go on and on and on. Um, so the the Triumph goes from the Everrun Foam, their new compound, which you know absorbs impact, is plush, cushiony, uh, super amazing, lightweight. It's called, in the Triumph, it's called the Power Run Plus Foam. So if you come in and say, I ran in the Power Run Plus, then we've really got some issues. Um, but uh, let me be, you know, I, I hate to break the news to you. You weren't running in the sock in the Everrun shoe. That was the foam um, in their shoe. And they, and they blasted it all along the side. It said Everrun. So it's an easy, easy mistake to make. I understand uh, you're not paying super close attention. That's why you come to us anyway. So funny story, story of how branding works. Um, but anyway, let's get into this shoe. This shoe I'm really happy about it. It's been a while since I've had something from Saucony that really just made my face light up and smile. And I gotta tell you, this shoe, I've been wearing it exclusively since I got it, which was about two weeks ago, just before we went to the running event. And so it's I've taken it on every run and I've also been wearing it here at the shop just to put a lot of wear and tear on it. And so if you look at my shoe, you see it's a little bit on the dirtier side, um, but let's go get into it. So first we're gonna talk about this outsole. So here, and this spot off the toe off and here on the heel this is carbon rubber so it's a really durable grippy rubber in those spots and then this orange piece is uh, like a crystallized rubber um, slightly different compound you know we're getting into that that uh, chemical engineering type stuff but what it means is so like yesterday it was feels like negative eight with fresh snow on the ground i ran in this shoe not a problem plenty of grip um and you, you, i didn't need yak tracks or anything like that i just ran in my shoe in the fresh snow and it did a fantastic job um moving moving on so i mentioned the iso series it was a lacing system um it was a clever system it made a lot of sense to me however it uh had had its own issues uh for one it didn't work the way they wanted it to work unfortunately and it's just a bummer i mean they tried they tried they tried uh, oftentimes it, it ended up uh, working to the detriment of the shoes so they've gone back to a more traditional upper it all works as one piece it's great my favorite part about this shoe and i mentioned this in the unboxing is the this piece around the heel collar and counter super duper soft it's like a memory foam pillow from the first step into this shoe to just going it's a great high mileage trainer you know i wouldn't use it for speed work i wouldn't race in it but for all of those long miles especially like all these winter miles we're going to be stacking up it's a fantastic option it's a really comfortable shoe and like i said i've been wearing it every day here at the shop so when i'm on my feet i've been wearing this thing it's a phenomenal option from Saucony and I, it, I'm so happy to be able to say that because this is a brand that needs a win and I think they've got it here in this shoe it's been a lot of fun to wear this shoe to run in this shoe um, but I've got a couple couple small little tweaks on it uh, just for reference so that you can be aware um, for me the insole this this deal here it's a it's a pretty decent insole but it, it kind of moves around a little bit on me and what happens a lot of times when I put the shoe on, this wants to fold down and I have to kind of dig it out. And so 
be aware you might want to mess around with the insole or you might want to switch the insole on this shoe once you get it. And the other thing that I've noticed, and it's, it's very minimal, um, the toe box is a little bit tight. Um, I had a little bit of a sore toe as I get past like seven miles, but I also have a weird foot, so it could just be that. Um, let's be honest, that's the way it goes. Everybody's feet are different, and so shoes won't fit the same way for me as they will fit for you. That being said, that's very minimal, and I, it's not like I'm losing toenails on it. it. It's still really, really comfortable, and it just gets like a little sore. Trust me, it's, this is a good shoe. This is a really good shoe. Have a lot of fun in this shoe. And I'll catch you later. Stop on down. I just ordered some more of these shoes, so we've got plenty of stock here in the store. It's the Sockney Triumph 17. Also available online is this beautiful, ugly sweater on our website, run605.com. Check that out. Um, and if you use the, the code UGLY, you can save $10 on it. So that's all I got today. I'll catch you all later. Bye.